Hello. <laughs> My name is Andy Fickman. Mm, I'm not going to turn. Because unlike my fellow performers, I am a director. Rather than telling you about my audition, which I can't, I'm going to share with you several auditions that I have had the joy. <laughs> Witnessing. There was a woman in Boston who's the number one casting director in all of Boston. She also teaches acting. So you can take acting from her and audition with her. That day we had a smorgasbord of people that were auditioning. Musicians, singer, all kinds of people, and they were in the hallway, a curtain like this. It was loud, but she set this audition up, and all the actors were out there warming up. This is what she did as I sat with our casting director, Sheila Jaffe. This is what she did every two minutes. She would get up, <laughs> open the hallway, and yell, shut the fuck up! <laughs> She did not do this one time. <laughs> Perhaps I indulged it and pushed a little bit when from time to time, I would say, they seem very loud out there. <laughs> As time was running out, she decided to bring in multiple actors in something I had never seen before as a director. It went something like this. Five actors were brought in at the same time. You're me. Five actors had their backs to us. And then each one would turn and do his line. Hi, I'm Andy Fickman, blah, blah, blah. I told her I thought it was distracting and she said, it's because they're not good. <laughs> During this same audition process, a young man was on the floor in the middle of a very emoting medical scene. And a sound started going off like a parrot squawking. I'd never heard it before, and it seemed distracting to everybody. And I thought maybe she should check it out. And she looked at me in a building she's been in for 10 years and said, I am not familiar. Let me go see. I'll be right back. The young man stayed on the floor in his position. Sheila and I apologized profusely. We are so sorry. We are so sorry. Please. I thought she would be back in moments. Fifteen minutes go by. She is not coming back. I decide maybe I should check. I open the door and firemen are racing through the building. As we are currently on fire. And they had been told the building had been evacuated. <laughs> Sheila and I thought best to let the young man stand now. We exited from a third floor walk down onto the street where we saw her talking to people. Chatting. And then she left, she goes, oh, thank God you guys got out. <laughs> And then she said, very loudly, actors, due to the fire, we cannot see all of you. If you're in a union, you stay. Non-union people, go, go. We're not going to catch you anyway. Go. I'm Andy Fickman. You have now experienced several of my worst auditions.